shortly, but school starts in just a month. And if you have a child facing challenges in school, you may be asked to have them participate in individual education plans or IEPs. Peg Mee Jaman Singh is a mental health navigator who works with students and helps their families navigate the IEP process. So Peggy, thanks for joining us this morning for our Mental Health Monday segment. Yes. First of all, tell us exactly what an IEP is for yes. parents who may have never even heard of that. Right. Well, an, an I, IEP stands for Individualized Educational Plan, Education Plan, and it um, it originated from the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, which allows for children who have disabilities to be provided mm -hmm. with special education, and that special education allows them services and supports. And so they're still being taught in school, maybe just in a yes. way that is better for them. Taught in school as normal as in the normal environment as possible in a regular classroom mm -hmm. with children without disabilities. So to, there's no real stigma yeah. attached to it. The child doesn't feel as though that he or she's being singled out. Singled out. Now, a parent, a parent can approach a school about saying, that, you know, my child needs help. Mm -hmm. Or the school can come to the parent and say, we have noticed, we have noticed certain challenges. We've we would like to discuss with you the idea of an IEP. Once the parent agrees to do that, an evaluation has to take place. The parent has to agree to the, an, an evaluation. Mm -hmm. Nothing can go forward unless an evaluation is done. Okay. Once that evaluation is done, the parent and the, the school will start talking about setting up that first IEP meeting. We know that an IEP can be intimidating, as you know, there are some parents that already have some ideas about it. Some of them have never heard about it. They heard about it only when the school approached them to talk about it. And we don't want our kids to feel singled out or exactly. different in any way. So that's exactly. really, you know, how can, you know, parents really help um, if they feel like their child needs one of these individualized plans? Well, as I said, you know, they will, they will speak to the school and once they agree that for the school to do the evaluation, that is done. When the evaluation is done, the parents get the results of the evaluation. They are encouraged to look at the results and to bring any questions even before the IEP meeting is planned. The school wants, every school wants parents to know that they are an integral part yeah of this IEP. It is not a, it's not the school dictating to them what is to be done for their child, that they are in fact, their voice is important, their voice is important, and they can agree or disagree at any given right. time once an, once an IEP is, has yeah. take, is taken place. And that's good relief for parents who are looking for that extra help. Definitely, Maybe. yes. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And if you need more help, go yes. to kidsmindsmatter.com, a website full of resources for this and for any other mental health issues for your children before they head back to school.